today we'll go for another practice activity this activity is actually about uh, security system so alert the alert the security system about the intruder okay if somebody is entering your home no what are the security systems you can put in your home okay so we have the uh, topology is already given there okay this is the security controller already pre-configured with some program do not touch this okay you should not touch this one do not touch the cloud do not touch the dns server do not touch the router okay so whatever device i am asking you to do that only you have to configure okay so what is the thing they are given is okay add iot devices like trip sensor alarm door and mcu okay so i'll add first trip sensor mr what is trip sensor i'll tell you okay it's like a motion sensor so trip sensor this one i'll add okay so this one trip sensor what is the trip sensor just i'll open and tell you type of motion detector that can detect movement across the laser beam okay so if anybody moving near that area no so that is intruder right so it can detect it and it will the laser will be tripped any that uh, laser will be disconnected so there we need to put an alarm and all okay so alt mouse plus inter interact okay alt mouse to interact and uh, we have one means high or trip zero means low okay it's digital okay so reading will be this is a digital device input device okay input device in digital format then we have we have to put alarm output device alarm yes. alarm output device i'll make this name also alarm okay after that we need an end device any desktop device we need to add so i'll make this as pc1 so first step is add trip sensor alarm and door and mcu also okay door mcu so door i'll put door and the door mcu mcu also and mcu so i'll put here mcu door okay and uh, add a network device to switch okay network device to add uh, switch s1 so door means sg also they added okay so here door means they put sg also they mentioned it as csc security gate like that okay <coughs> switch already added s1 so need to add again okay in the exam maybe practice if i ask you add the switch again okay now we added already now to connect the device okay <coughs> now what's the next step is connecting device trip sensor and alarm to mcu connect the trip sensor alarm to mcu mc is u to security control using two digital connections d0 d1 okay first thing we'll go for mc to security controller so two pins d0 d1 okay so this is security controller this is mcu connect these two first we'll go for iot custom cable take this d0 d0 d1 d1 okay now remaining trip and alarm sensor i'll go with the uh, trip sensor i will go with the uh, let me check the code what i have given is i give same code same this one like i'll put okay so digital two okay so this one will be uh digital d port two then this one alarm as per the code i put third pin so third pin okay now what i need to do is i want to connect the check the code again uh, check the question again uh trip sensor alarm to mcu done mcu to security control done using digital connection d0 d1 uh sc security control and device to switch s1 so we need to connect the security controller sc they give short form also okay if you want you can give like this here for your access sc and end device these should be connected to switch so i'll take the you know switch has only fast ethernet port so take fast ethernet port cable go to switch done now for this security controller there is no fast ethernet port so what should i do go here go to physical add so before that switch off it add one cfe like this switch on okay go to physical cfe fast ethernet copper fast ethernet okay and so before that switch off it add the port number here then switch on after that go and connect the straight through cable it's available i'm putting in a phase over 3 okay like this i put 
fast forward now what's next is router to switch one so already i connected my router to switch one using straight through cable okay now door to dc switch also we need straight through cable now this is switch right so go for door there is no such option so you have to go to the config also i can find the fast unit so what i will do go to advanced io config this one i will make cfe adapter will be cfe fast ethernet then after that i will try to connect the straight through cable i put 0 bar 4 done now sg means door okay door security gate to switch dc configure device enable dhcp service and cloud server with specific settings on server pool okay start ip 2 i'll make it uh, 10 okay chat ip is uh, 20 200 165 299.10 then mask is 2550 enable iot service before that first i'll go for the dhcp server cloud server here iot cloud server go to the desktop this is the ip address in service dhcp server pool is already on now what i will do 20916199.10 10 starting it was actually zero you have to make it okay in this question Other task is two five five two five zero same. Then save. After the what I will do? Go to the IoT service. It should be on. Okay. What is the IP of the server? This one. Copy this one. See the question. After DHCP enable, what should do? What should I do? Activate enable IoT service and cloud server. Create an account. Okay. User user password. Okay. So I'll go here. go to iot monitor <coughs> i enable the service so okay, you saw that okay in the services i went to choose iot service enable after that only i am go to iot monitor okay put the ip address of the server then by default username admin password admin just login you have to add the new username password sign up now what is the username password they told user user pwd okay so here i put u Sir, then user PWD create. Now this is done. Now what should I do? Enable DHCP client on security gate and security controller and device. Okay, so what should I do? I have to enable DHCP on this door, security controller and end device. Okay, PC. So go to PC one. How do enable DHCP? I am not going to give the IP address manually. No manual IP, just DHCP. Just put like this. I will get IP address here. Okay, done. Now security control also. Go to config fast Ethernet DHCP. Done. Door. Go to config. <coughs> Sorry. So static. Uh, this one is fast Ethernet zero. Now DHCP. S I P is coming. Now what they are asking is after that what they tell is uh, register the security controller and security gate to cloud server. Okay, how do we register? This one you have to register to IoT server and this controller. So first I go to security gate, go to remote server because I have IoT server, right? IP address of IoT server I already know 2091651192. Then we have the username user. password i gave user pwd giving both uh, username password if it is correct means you will get refresh button here call ask about it go to security control also same thing go to remote server because i have iot server not none not home gateway it's server only so copy paste the address of your server then username i already configured for the iot service is user user pwd connect if everything is okay it should be refreshed uh -huh, it's not coming yes can okay coming now i can go to the server and see the two devices connected okay done now what is we have is write the python code in mcu import the module assign the input output pin number read input pin check input reading if trip sensor is active oh hi turn on the alarm set pin 0 to hi pin 0 of what security controller else if trip sensor is not active means turn off the alarm set pin 1 to hi okay now i have already the 
coding okay so this is the coding i'll just copy paste you don't want to go you, you cannot copy paste so we have to write your own okay just i will copy here then i will tell you what's the coding so go to the mcu you have to write the code in mcu right go to mcu go to programming new i have to go for mt uh, this one blink python down 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 namira uh, see here it is blink python okay blink python don't choose any other thing blink python do not choose javascript many people i remember that on the exam day choose javascript mafi it should be python program so go down go down do not open fatma also do not open javascript down 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 new project go down blink python blink python okay create main.py here you have to copy paste your code you cannot copy paste you have to write your code but just i have no time for the video no that's why the video will become big okay so i'll put copy paste okay now see here import uh, dpip import dpi import star then pin mode which is the input and output okay see here um, this has 0 1 2 3 0 and first these two pins are connected to security control this is an output device okay so that should be output 2 is the input device where trip sensor i connected no trip sensor means like a motion detector this is input device so in in second pin alarm is output device so out three out now what i am going to do i am going to read the value from trip sensor so as i know trip sensor has high and low high and low okay so it is digital device so if trips digital read of 2 equal to high 2 means the pin number where i connected the trip sensor equal to high means c put a colon after that when you put a colon the cursor will come here there only you have to type okay what should i do i have to turn on the alarm alarm means again digital write okay so input device means read output device means write and is a digital device so it should be digital write off the pin number where i connected alarm is 3 comma high you can go to the device see here digital write high for one low off okay so like that i put uh, high here for 3 then they told in the program security under has two pins 0 and 1 so when the digital uh, motion detector trip sensor is active means zeroth pin is high one to pin is low for this one okay else 3 comma low an alarm will be off 0 will be off with the security controller 1 will be high okay so while running what should you do you should run this program as well as security controller there also have program so just run both here also go here run okay it is running here here also you have to go here and uh, run it is running here now what should i do i have to um, do some motion detection okay so i'll go here and move the which one see whenever i motion detector whenever i break that okay when the infrared no that our trip gets shut down no motion detector to shut down means alarm will be on so it go like this okay whenever you break that infrared okay the trip sensor means motion sensor whenever motion detected okay it not happen every time there is an infrared uh, ray is there okay? whenever it is broken okay broken it will be like a uh, alarm will be on okay see like this now now what i need i want to go for the um, this one activate trip sensor okay now we have activate the active trip sensor above alarm okay that's done now end device okay log in the cloud server apply conditions sc alarm off turn unlock sg sc alarm high turn unlock lock sg okay you can open the end device and log in the cloud server you can open from here also no issue or you can do directly here okay your wish okay i will just go to the cloud server i'll go to put conditions here you can even do from the computer also if you want you can do from here okay go to computer go here open the browser open the browser it takes time that's why i open directly in the which one iot server let's try if it's coming you'll try here otherwise you can open in the server itself and add condition no issue let's see let's see this one is uh, oh, sorry sorry how to 
and I did not copy paste the wrong one. Okay, I'll close this open again because I copy. I should have copy paste the IP address of the server. Actually, I copy paste by mistake this uh, which one that code complete code. Okay, did the browser open? By the time I will uh, just me so I remind. Uh, remember the IP address of your IoT server 209.165.209.2. I guess let me see. Okay, again, sometimes no, so let me see 209.165.209.2. Let me see username password S username. I think USR. I think password is user PW. I think so. Let me check. Yes, now I have go to conditions. Okay, go to conditions. What was the condition? If SC alarm level off, unlock the gate. Okay, high means lock. So go here, add first one SC alert is off, then door lock is unlock. Done. Then what's next? SC alarm is high. Lock SG. Okay. So go here. SC alert is high. Then door should be locked. Done. Now go here and run this see alarm is there okay so what happens what is the condition alarm level is high means lock off means unlock okay see here that's what happening here now what i will do i'll change this condition again okay, based on this this c is now locked see unlocks change c whenever the trip sensor no no motion direct means alarm off and this has become see like this okay this is a program okay go through that i'll just stop the video